Hello, and thanks for um, joining me at the this um, orientation to the LWVC Convention 2017. Um, I'm Helen Hutchison. I'm the president of the League of Women Voters of California. Um, I appreciate your joining me about, and I look forward to seeing you in Sacramento for our convention. Um, so the first question I'm asking is about why. So why do we hold the convention? We hold conventions because we're required to by our bylaws. That's fundamental. But there's, there's business we have to do. Um, beyond that, uh, what we really love is coming together to share ideas, to be inspired by great speakers and by each other, and to be energized by all the good league work that is going on all over California. Uh, why are we holding this webinar? Well, league conventions are only held once every two years, and we want to make sure that everyone who comes can participate to the fullest. This orientation will give you a quick overview of the decisions we'll be making, how we work, the processes we use to get to those decisions, how to get help, and a little bit about some league terminology. What do we do? Well, we meet. We do a lot of meeting. Um, we do some voting. Um, we talk a lot and we drink a lot of coffee. I'm always reminded at league conventions of a t-shirt my daughter had when she was at Wellesley College that said, Wellesley women will sleep when we're dead. I think we need one that says, league conventions will sleep when we're dead. Um, we have some great speakers lined up for our convention. Alex Padilla, who is the California Secretary of State, will be speaking at the Thursday night voter service dinner. Celinda Lake of Lake Research Partners um, is going to be speaking on Friday morning. Anyone who was at the national convention heard an abbreviated uh, version of her speech, uh, her talk about language and the importance of the words we use when we um, talk about our issues. Um, we're going to give her her full time here in California. Uh, Chris Haney, who is the Executive Director of the California Budget and Policy Center, will be speaking on Friday afternoon um, about some of the research that they're doing. And um, I think that we'll all find that really interesting. Uh, Maria Blanco of the UC Immigrant Legal um, Services Center is going to be speaking on Saturday. Um, it will be um, it will be interesting for all of us, I'm sure, to hear some of her insights about what's going on in the nation and in California. Um, Jill Darling is our speaker at the Saturday night banquet. Um, she's at the USC Center for Economic and Social Research, which is also known as sometimes uh, was referred to during the election. You heard people say the USC LA Times poll. Um, they'll tell you, she'll tell you that more accurately it's a survey and she can tell you more about what they're doing, um, what the limitations of polling and surveys are and what some of the, the fascinating kinds of things that they're finding out. And then finally at Sunday lunch, Brooke Binkowski, who is one of the editors from Snopes.com is going to talk about um, their work. And I think for those of us who use Snopes on a regular basis to check out um, news stories to see what's real and what's not, um, we're going to be really interested to hear from her. Some of the extras that are happening at convention. Um, Lobby Day is on Thursday. Um, we're going to go to the Capitol. Actually, we'll start at the hotel and have a briefing all together and then go to the Capitol and visit legislators' offices and speaking about bills that are important to the league. Um, and then on Thursday night, there is the voter service dinner I referred to, the Secretary of State is speaking. Um, and the final extra is on Friday night. It's a, there's a fundraiser for our local host league, the Sacramento County League. We can have dinner on a riverboat and hear from Jack Oman, who is a Pulitzer Prize winning cartoonist for the Sacramento Bee. Um, so what, are, what decisions are we going to be making at the convention? We have four big ones that um, we need to set our, um, what's going to happen over the next two years. So we'll um, have the leaders, the, the LWVC board for the coming two years. 
we'll set our budget for the coming two years and we're, we consider bylaws changes. Um, this year we have a full rewrite of our bylaws which is called a revision. So you'll sometimes hear people speaking about bylaws revision or rewrite. It is a whole new set of bylaws for us. Um, and we set our priorities for what we're going to do beyond election services. Um, so we set, we say where we're going to spend our, our resources, our precious time and, and money. Um, so where do you find information about the convention? The best place to start is on our convention blog, lwvc.wordpress.com. Um, it has across the top here a list of, of um, tabs that you where you can find information, the agenda, the sponsors, lodging information. The same things are listed down here under this title that says pages, and you even see some some kind of sub pages that beyond that. So it's a great place to start. Um, included on that is a link to our workbook. Um, and on that page you'll see you can download the whole workbook or you can download just pieces of it and look at it. You'll get a printed copy when you get to the convention. Um, this is just an electronic version here so that you can see the information earlier. Um, moving on um, a little bit more about what all of the different kinds of things you'll find in the workbook. Um, are listed here on this slide. You can see it's long. It's uh, over, it's 130 pages long, um, but it includes um, the, the list of the workshops, the stuff about our speakers, our proposed order of business. So all of those things are listed here. So th then we say, how do we make decisions? Well, we have plenary sessions at convention um, starting Friday morning two on Friday, two on Saturday, and two on Sunday. And at each one, we it, we talk about various kinds of business. Every item that we're going to make a decision on is introduced via motions, and then we have time for discussion. Um, there's both formal time in the plenary session and then informally, because we every time we introduce something at one plenary session, we then have time to discuss it and debate it, um, and we don't vote on it until at least one more plenary session. Um, and this, and at our convention, this time all of our votes will happen on Sunday. So we'll have, we'll introduce things on Friday and then through Saturday morning, and then we'll have lots of time to discuss um, on Saturday morning, afternoon, and again on Sunday morning if we want to. Our agenda is part of the workbook. It shows which items will be talked about at which plenary session. Um, the League be works on discussion and consensus. Um, at convention, we do use formal voting, um, but we also want to make sure that we have a lot of time to fully explore and um, discuss our decisions. Um, one final note about voting. Our first two votes are to adopt an agenda, the, the one it, we, the recommended one is in the workbook, and to adopt the rules of convention. Again, recommended ones are in the workbook. Those two votes happen pretty quickly after we start, so if you want to suggest changes to either, you need to be ready to go right first then Friday morning. A little bit more about the rules. We do use rules to run the meetings so that they run well and smoothly and people know what to expect. Um, the convention rules are in our workbook. Um, they work with the Roberts Rules. We use the 11th edition, which is the newest edition of Roberts Rules of Order. I do suggest that people be familiar with the rules, and when I say that, uh, the convention rules are what you need to be familiar with, and then um, the, some of the basics about Roberts Rules, how you make a motion, how you amend something. Our parliamentarian um, will be there and she will have a, a time on Friday morning where she where you can learn from her about some of the information. Um, she will sit on the dais with me during the plenary sessions. Uh, she advises me and she will she's off available to advise delegates. Um, so that's there. The other way, the, the way to be familiar with the, the simple things about Robert's rules is, again, it's part of the convention rules in the workbook. Um, there is what I call our parliamentary cheat sheet, more formally is called our convention rules and procedures or parliamentary procedures at a glance. 
and it lists different things you might want to do down this column and it goes on to another page and then what you want to say and then how that what what has to happen can you interrupt the flow of order can you um do you are you going to need a second for your motion can we debate it can we amend it whether we vote or or it is just the chair of the meeting decides it so it tells all of all of what you can do the simple for pretty much everything you're going to want to do will be on this um, procedures at a glance it that again is in the workbook um, during debate we do ask that people use microphones we are a large group of people um, so we need to be relatively formal and and recognize people in order um, we want to make sure everybody's able to hear the whole discussions and that's the other reason for using microphones um, during the question and answer microphones are just open and you just you can line up at either one of the two microphones during debate the microphones will be labeled um, pro and con on the microphone so if you're speaking for uh, a motion then you want to go to the pro micro phone and con for the people against. If you have a question, which is also possible during the debate process, you can go to either one and just go to the, the microphone that has the shorter line. Um, anytime you get up to speak, we ask that you give your name and league before you start to speak. Um, and we will have time limits. Um, there are timers at the front of the room and they will have signs that they can, they will hold up and let you know when you're getting close to your time limit um, and when your time is up. Um, I'm also going to suggest that if you're going to, if you have anything more than a sentence or two to say that you write down some notes for yourself so that you um, remember all of what you want to say. Um, and finally, a pet peeve of my own, which is that, you, that if somebody ahead of you has already said what you need to, what you wanted to say, you don't need to say it again. You, we, don't we hear it once is is usually sufficient you're you're welcome to stand up and say i agree with um susie who was in front of me um or you can just sit down either one um a few definitions um you can find some of this information in the workbook or you can ask other people that you're sitting with um you can identify people who understand the process when we vote, when we're making decisions, we always start with a voice vote. If the outcome is not clear from the voice vote, then we try what's called a standing vote. And if it's still not clear, then we will move to what we call a card vote. So when you register, you're going to get a set of cards for voting. You need to have them with you at all plenary sessions because when we get to a card vote, there will not be time for people to run up to their rooms to get their voting cards. You need It will happen right then and you need to have them. Um, so if you're not sure how to get something done, you can ask. The parliamentarian will hold brief, a briefing on Friday morning to talk about the process um, and then be available outside of plenary sessions. And there will also be a parliamentary aid available during the plenary sessions. So you'll have two people there that you can ask questions of if you can't find somebody at your table who understands. Red cards, when, when we talked about interrupting the plenary session, if you, if you have something really urgent that you need to say that you can't hear, that the sound system isn't working, um, then you can use a red card to let um, everybody know that there is this problem. And, and we do ask that you use them sparingly. Um, a caucus is our meetings in the morning before the plenary and at the end of the day. Some are to discuss items we'll be voting on, like the budget or the bylaws, meeting the candidates, some of the program items. Others are to share information between local leagues or to explore some new ideas. Um, the Water Committee will be having um, a caucus. Um, there's a, another caucus on membership and lots of other items. Uh, resolutions are introduced by individual delegates or by local leagues and they're used to express the will of the convention and they're usually something for some specific short-term action the most the ones I've been most familiar with are to um, to send a, n a note to the governor or to some other elected official um, or body that the league um, 
it, we're supporting something or we like something and we don't like something. Um, but some, some kind of short-term action like that, they're not to be used to um, bypass our regular program decision-making process. Um, so where, where do you find help? Um, before the convention, you can use the convention blog that was the um, lwvc.wordpress.com. Ask other delegates, other league members, the LWVC list serves, and you find those by going to lwvc.org. Um, and then you can click on sign up. And you, when you get to that page, there will be an ability to sign up for some of our newsletters, which is also a good thing to do. Um, and um, if you scroll down that page, you'll see various um, Google groups or Yahoo groups that you where you can sign up to get emails about particular topics. Um, I find them a great place to both um, share information and to ask questions of other league members around the state. There are also some national listservs, and I'm not sure that we list them on our website, but um, I will get, have information about that at the convention. Um, during the convention, the best source of information is other delegates. And so, you know, find out who seems to know what's going on or find somebody who does seem to know what's going on. The parliamentarian is always available for questions. And, and our LWBC board and staff are more than willing to, to either answer your questions or help you find answer to your questions. So there's lots of different sources of where to find information for you. Um, and the questions that we had were about um, Google Groups and I've um, heard the listservs and we've answered that. So I hope this answers your questions and, and helps. If you have more questions, please feel free to send questions to president at lwvc.org and I'd be happy to, to find an answer for you. Thanks so much um, and I look forward to seeing you um, soon in Sacramento.